This has just been sitting on my desk for a week and a half unopened, so I guess I should deal with it now. It's technically open now. Cool, the exact thing that I want is right in front. Get out of here. There you are. I need the cable. Gotta bring you back. There it is. Don't need the rest of that right now. Boop. It's blue. Oh, it registered. So to get this controller to work with Steam, uh, just go up to Steam right here, go to settings, go all the way down to controller, click general controller settings. And if you're not part of the Steam beta program, it's gonna show up like this. So when you plug it in, it's gonna show up as like a wireless controller. It'll go here and then uh, you'll just set all your buttons. So whatever button is uh, lit up green, just press it. Make sure that these actually register properly. So you don't want that to say button six. And then we go to save PS5. You can set it as a PlayStation 4 controller and upload. So yeah, for the time being, just make sure that all your settings look like this and uh, everything should be fine. So far so good, got into it and we can push. Triggers work, all revert works. All right, first trick, three flip. Oh man, this feels so good. The uh, the sticks feel nice and smooth. Oh! So I know that the triggers aren't gonna give you any like feedback and all the special features of the PlayStation 5 controller aren't gonna be applied here. Maybe in the future, but not right now. But yeah, that is how you get uh, the PlayStation 5 controller to work on session. Everything just feels a lot more smooth with the PlayStation 5 controller. Maybe it's just because it's a new controller. I don't know. I've been using old ones. Everything just feels so nice. Nice. That's going to be awesome when you have uh, different tightnesses of trucks and you can feel the feedback in the triggers. That is going to be insane. So like, if you got really loose trucks, it's just going to feel loose. Uh oh, if you got really tight trucks, it's going to fight you. Oh, just doing a three flip feels so smooth. And to prove that I am doing it on the PlayStation 5 controller, here we go, I'll, I'll just do this. There we go. I caught wrong, but that's fine. Here, I'll catch, I'll do it again. Just... There, caught right this time. Let's switch this to Skater XL. The PlayStation 5 controller also works on this game too. Huge. Wait, isn't there supposed to be a bowl here somewhere? There you are. Oh, what, is, what happened? That would have been sick going from that one to the other one. Damn, almost got the tray blunt. There we go. So there are two ways to get the PlayStation 5 controller to work with Skater XL. The second way, unfortunately, does not work for session just yet. Not sure why. So the second way, you go into the Steam settings once again. Under account, you'll see beta participation. So if you go to change and then go to Steam beta update, click OK. It'll say restart Steam. Where, where, where's Steam go? Once you restart Steam, you can go to controller settings, general controller settings, that's gonna pop up. You won't need to go in and calibrate it at all. You can change your preferences, so you can change like the name of it, you can change the color. I currently have it at like a, like a purplish color, you can't really see it, but it looks good. And that's pretty much all you have to do for that because Steam Beta has the update for PlayStation 5 controller support. When I tried it with Session, it didn't work, but uh, yeah, it, it doesn't work with Session, it just does like a bunch of random, Random things, it just opened a opened a keyboard. Now I can't get rid of the keyboard. But for Skater XL, it does work. And as you can see, it works. Not sure why it doesn't work on session, but uh, probably eventually work. It could be the fact that this game is on consoles too, so like the code has uh, console support. I don't know, I'm not a whale biologist. I never realized that this was here. Oh, I escaped that. Can I even get enough speed? Okay, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll get enough speed here. Oh, I just missed it. Ow, hit my ass. Uh, oh, okay, hang on. Let's get a little bit more of the ledge. Oh, bum. <laughs> I 
This thing is ridiculous. Toasty Ghost, what are you what are you saying? You you lie there, I, I reply to Toasty Ghost. Is this challenge still available? Oh, he's trying my big gap challenge in session. Yeah, if you can do that big gap over the stairs without a bank, yeah, do it. But it is easier to make a roll in now than it was back then, so you'll probably get it a lot easier. And uh, I think the speeds have changed wall ride. So yeah, no doubt that he's gonna get it. Whoa. All right. Well, I guess that was my first impressions of the PlayStation 5 controller, uh, using it on, oh, using it on Session and Skater XL on PC before even trying the PlayStation 5. This controller just feels so nice, so smooth. Everything's just like awesome. Oh, I can move my mouse. So glad I can play my favorite games with this. I can't wait till PC has like full support of this controller though. It's gonna be awesome. But thank you guys so much for watching. I will catch you in the next video. Have a good one. Bye-bye. What was that? What was that outro?